Daniel, and this is my family team from Secure Supplies. We have preserved and rebuilt green technologies actively around the world now for over 18 years. The water fueling and gas phase change technologies are changing the way your world's power and gas industries work. Helping you access these technologies is our life mission. Click the subscribe button now to join our technology releases and updates every Monday. And consider buying a ticket to the show by pressing the link in the description. If you would like to see the secrets ahead of time, head over to our Patreon tech training releases every Friday. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing now is that I am now taking the combustible gas ions and I'm now bringing it into sub critical state. I've pulled off the electrons. I have now subjected to photon energy. And what I'm now doing is taking combustible gas atoms and putting them in the subcritical state. In order to do this, I had to invent now the electron extraction circuit. When I developed the electron extraction circuit, which I shut off the flow of antron voltage to take over to eject the electrons, now come up with an alternate way of redirecting those liberated negative electrons and as a result if you would apply the B plus across a filament of a light bulb then those negative charge electrons will go into the filament and to react to produce heat in the form of light energy but what I'm now illustrating to you that not only are we setting up the condition to bring about the hydrogen fracturing process, we are now producing electrical energy simultaneously. That electrical energy now can be recycled back in electronic circuits to aid the voltage intensifier circuit to perform the electrical polarization process.
This is an example now that when you inject combustible gas atoms to laser energy, it causes the electrons to go to a higher energy state, which now allows the electrons to be ejected from the oxygen atom as an example. And by subjecting it to the pulse voltage frequency, we pull away the electrons and then we consume the electrons and not allow the electrons to go back into the process. So we're now keeping the combustible gas atoms into a very critical state. To do this, we now develop what is called the hydrogen gas gun technology. Basically what we're doing is, we know that in fact that when you ignite hydrogen and oxygen gases, it will release the thermal explosive energy up to two and a half times that of gasoline. The scientific question that was to be asked at this particular point is that what happens during thermal gas ignition of hydrogen if you could prevent the formation of the water molecule from occurring? If you could prevent the formation of the water molecule from occurring, could not reach stable state, then in fact, that explosive energy would keep continuing to be released from the process until such time either a new atom structure is formed or that an implosion effect and release pure energy.
merch updates are ready. If you want to look good in the H2 hot rodding scene, and if you would like to pick up some hydrogen hot rodding merch, now is your chance. Please head over to our hydrogen hot rod shop. The link is in the description. Thanks. Alternatively, you can send me an email or join me on WhatsApp chat. The details are in the description. Let me know which things you like and what sizes. network of home builders is growing very fast. Whether it's a roadster, supercar or a yacht build, or maybe even an industrial power gas energy project. I'm here to assist and guide you. Please head over to the Consult with Dan link in the description and book a discussion for 10 to 30 minutes and I will save you decades.